Welcome to the Double E Cup Series Season 7 Finale. We're at Daytona International Speedway for 10 laps around this high bank 2.5 mile oval where we have four championship contenders ready to do battle with between themselves and with the rest of the field to see who can become the seventh DEX champion. All six previous champions are in the field today as Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the only one of our four going for his second championship in the Double E Cup Series. And let's take a look at our four contenders now. Kevin Harvick starts this race in fourth in the four car for Stuart Haas Racing. He has not won a race this season, but has used consistency to get into this final four. Carl Edwards from JGR starts fifth. He, like Harvick, has not won a race yet this season, but has been very consistent, has led a lot of laps. Kyle Busch starts alongside his teammate in the sixth position. He won at Eldora a couple of races ago, and he has had a very strong season the last few weeks, has been our points leader for much of this season. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. won at Texas in race seven. He starts in ninth. And he is looking for his second career W Cup Series Championship. So without further ado, let's go down to Chaz Sinas for the command. Drivers, start your engines! Engines begin to fire here at Daytona. Let's look at your starting lineup. On the pole is the 11 of Denny Hamlin. And his outside is Chase Elliott in the 24. Then in row 2, we have Jimmy Johnson and championship contender Kevin Harvick. Then in row three, we have Gibbs teammates and fellow championship contenders, Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch. Then we have Tony Stewart in the 14 and Kyle Larson in the 42, along with championship contender Dale Jr. and Brad Keselowski rounding off the top 10. Then in row six, we have Matt Kenseth and Casey Kane. Row seven goes to Trevor Bain and Danica Patrick. Back in row eight, we have Kurt Busch and Eric Almirola, two former winners this year. In row nine, we have AJ Allmendinger in the 47 and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 17. And in row 10, we have Clint Boyer and Greg Biffle. Row 11 goes to Joey Logano in the 22 and Ryan Newman in the 31. Row 12 goes to Paul Menard and Jamie McMurray. And rounding out the field today is the three of Austin Dillon. So there's your starting lineup. It's a 10-lap race around this track, 25 cars as it's been all season. And again, it's Harvick, Bush, Edwards, and Junior, your four contenders. We'll continue to keep an eye on them throughout the race today. And we're about ready to get it started. Green flag is in the air here in the Double E Cup Series Season 7 Finale. We are underway here at Daytona as Denny Hamlin leads him through 1 and 2. Jimmy Johnson now moves into second. Carl Edwards is going to give him a run, going to give him a push to the outside. Jimmy Johnson around the outside of Denny Hamlin. He'll drop in front of that inside lane to take the lead. Hamlin's going to slip into the middle here. That's going to open the door for his teammate, Carl Edwards. Lap 2 now is underway as Kevin Harvick moves into the third lane, but he's got no help back there. He's going to lose a few spots. As up front, Denny Hamlin looking to the outside of Johnson. Johnson going to go down to block Edwards. That's going to open the door for Chase Elliott to get a big run through the middle as he's going to look to the outside of his teammate as they come off a of four. Down the front stretch they go. Hendrick teammates battling for the lead. Carl Edwards, Tony Stewart in row two. Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin in row three. Three wide further back in the pack. As now Denny Hamlin's going to get a big run through one and two. He's going to go around Stewart on the outside. Now he's looking for second. Three wide for second as Carl Edwards looks to the inside of his teammate trying to get a run. He's got Brad Keselowski behind him. Now down the front stretch, Keselowski's going to take it three wide. Brad Keselowski wants the lead from Jimmy Johnson. Keselowski's going to take that position away from Johnson as Carl Edwards is going to try and follow him through for second. Three wide behind them. And now Junior gets sideways. Trouble in turn two. Big crash down the back straightaway. Stewart's on his roof. At least five, six, seven cars involved as our first caution of the day comes out here on lap number four. Greg Biffle involved, Larson, Stewart, Dillon, Logano, Danica, Patrick, and Casey Kane. It, Dale Jr. was sent spinning, but I don't think he got any damage. Let's take a look at it on the replay. Jr., they're middle of three wide, in a bad spot, gets sideways. And a lot of people, just trouble broke out as people tried to avoid him. Kevin Harvick and Eric Almirola and, and others slipped through the middle, but it looked like Harvick might have gotten a little bit of damage. He might have bumped the wall. Uh, coming out of two as that wreck was happening in front of him. Dale Jr. on pit road to get some fresh tires after spinning them there. And yes, Kevin Harvick getting that right front slightly repaired here. Uh, but both championship contenders, a minor setback, but they'll be able to continue. As we will restart on lap number six, you see Harvick and Jr. are going to have to restart in the back. They're going to have a lot of track position to make up. As the two Gibbs cars are in the top five, they're going to try to hold them off. Green flag is back in the air here on lap number six. Keselowski leading with Johnson behind him. Kyle Busch trying to push Carl Edwards around him on the outside. They head out of turn two. Now Edwards gets a little sideways. He's going to move into the third lane as now Kyle Busch and Matt Kenseth are going to try and take advantage. Keselowski gets a big push out front from Jimmy Johnson as Busch and Johnson will battle for that second position as they fly down the front stretch. 
Lap seven is now underway as Carl Edwards now trying to make up for Locke's track position as well. Kyle Busch still battling with the two and the 48 up front. Keselowski continues to move back and forth, blocking two and three lanes at once. Now Kyle Busch got a big run on the inside. He's going to look to the inside of Keselowski. He's going to clear him off of four. McMurray slips in the middle. We got contact on the front stretch. Around goes the 31 of Newman. Chase Elliott spins into the grass as well here on the front stretch. And that's going to bring out our second caution of the afternoon here on lap number seven as both the 24th Chase Elliott and the 31 of Newman go around. Let's take a look what happened. Watch McMurray in the middle. He just moved into the middle there. I guess Brad Keselowski started to come down like he didn't know he was there. They all bounced off each other, and then behind them, as cars started to check up, looked like Newman might have got run over. Chase Elliott got bumped as well. And both those cars, minimal damage. They'll both continue as well, but they're going to have to get fresh tires. Brad Keselowski scraped the wall a little bit, but their team is electing to stay on the racetrack. They must not believe that damage is too serious for the two team. We will restart now. This is going to bring up an overtime restart. You can see where the championship contenders will restart. Kyle Busch is in the lead right now, and he's going to try and stay there. Carl Edwards is just outside the top five. He's going to need a big push maybe from his teammate Kenseth behind him. As you see, Dale Jr. and Kevin Harvick trying to sneak back into the top ten, trying to catch those leaders, trying to make up from that caution earlier. We have two laps to go to see who will be your Season 7 champion. Green flag is in the air. Two to go at Daytona. Kyle Busch leads. His teammate Hamlin is pushing him. Keselowski gives Johnson a huge push on the outside. Edwards back in row three, trying to get a run. He jumps to the outside with Matt Kenseth. Junior joins them. Johnson blocks him on the outside. That opens the door for Busch on the bottom. Now Carl Edwards has moved into second. He's side by side with his teammate for the championship. Johnson trying to block him all. Busch makes it three wide on the bottom. Denny Hamlin pushing Kyle Busch. Matt Kenseth pushing Carl Edwards. But now Dale Jr. is behind Jimmy Johnson. Johnson trying to regroup and come back through the middle. Kyle Busch trying to block. Johnson with Junior on the outside. Two turns to go here at Daytona. Junior to the outside of Bush. Carl Edwards trying to come to the third lane. To the finish. Around goes the 48. Big crash behind the leaders. Carl Edwards crosses the finish line first. As at least 10 cars involved on the final lap. Carl Edwards crosses the finish line ahead of them all. We'll have to see how this is scored. But I believe Carl Edwards is your Doubly Cup Series Season 7 champion. As let's take a look at it once again. Johnson moves down to block Bush. He collides with Junior. Edwards is able to hold it straight. And yes, indeed, it looks like Carl Edwards will be your Season 7 champion as he was able to hold on to his race car and hang on for the victory here at Daytona in a wild final two turns as they headed down the front stretch. And most all of the cars in the race got involved in that last crash, but Edwards was able to hold on to it. And he will pull away to win his first ever Dex Championship. Junior for the second year in a row comes up just a little bit short, but Carl Edwards didn't win a race all season, but he won the one that mattered the most. He will celebrate here at Daytona with his first and only win of the season, but boy, it was a big one. Congratulations to Carl Edwards for his first ever W Cup Series championship. Here is your top five. Thank you to Carl Edwards and all of his championship winning sponsors. A great season for that team, a lot of consistent finishes, and they got the big race when they needed it. Jimmy Johnson had a lot of tough breaks this season, still had a good points here. He finished his second, that's where he ended up crossing the line. Most of these cars were spinning out when they crossed the line. Brad Keselowski had one of the best cars today, he finished his third. Dale Earnhardt Jr. again just comes up a little bit short. He spun across the line in fourth. And Eric Almirola actually snuck into the fifth spot. He had a did a very good job of avoiding that wreck. He was able to make up a ton of positions. Here is your final results. Carl Edwards wins the race. Jimmy Johnson was second. Kozlowski third. You saw how they all finished. Denny Hamlin crossed line sixth. McMurray seventh. You saw Matt Kenseth eighth. A lot of those cars ran the top ten most of the day. A lot of these guys were caught up in that wreck. Got the worst of it. Uh, and of course, these guys were all in involved in that first crash uh, that took out at least six or seven race cars. So those are your final results. Here are your final point standings. Yes, indeed, Carl Edwards is your Season 7 champion. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick came up just short. All of them had good runs today. Uh, Jimmy Johnson and Matt Kenseth tied for fifth, so good season for both of them. And a good season for Season 6 defending champion Joey Logano. He finishes 11th ultimately after a bad day today, unfortunately, for that team. But still a strong run for teams like Tony Stewart, Kyle Larson, and a uh, really good season for a lot of those guys. Thank you all for watching so much, not just this race, but the entire season. I really appreciate all of your support. Congratulations again to Carl Edwards and all of his sponsors. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter, at Dex Racing. There'll be big updates coming soon, so I hope you look forward to that. 
As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.